I walked up on this one and I nicknamed it Cream Puff right off the bat because I love the color, I love the interior, and the drivetrain. This is a 1978 Chevy Corvette with T-tops and an LS2. Also, six-speed transmission. Aftermarket set of American racing wheels. Disc brakes. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. She looks great. Look at the 100 detail pictures we have. We have that at maplemotors.com. You also see all of our inventory on that website. Throughout this test drive video, we're going over the flaws. I'm not picking out all the good stuff. Dual exhaust. I'm just going to be looking for chip scratches, rust, and dents. We're also going to be checking the drivetrain. How does it shift? What happens if a floor it breaks? Clutch, steering, all the electronics. So stick around through this video. Hit subscribe, share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. I love the interior. I mean, it looks great. Super clean. Look at the gauges. Aftermarket gauges. With the carbon fiber background there. Come on. When you get in a car like this, you just know it's going to be a good test drive. Let's go ahead and start her up. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? I have no idea. This is the first time I've actually sat in this seat myself. I do that with every video, so it's realistic, you know. Wow. Power windows. They're feeling good. That's awesome. We're gonna give it a little bit of time, make the water temperature come up on this one. Vacuum gauge air, it says boost. Left turn signal, right turn signal. What? <laughs> oh, that whole little piece, the bracket that holds it up in there is not holding it in there very well, but the wipers work at tremendous speed. I'm gonna have to fix this. What's going on? What happened? Oh well. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll get her set up here in a second. No tilt column in this one. It does show the mileage. Let's try this horn out. AC kicked on. We'll give her a second. Horn? It works. Sure does. AC's already cold. Glove box has got some stuff in it. Man, this thing's starting to blow hard. Golly. Don't need that today. All right, I'm going to fix this little piece in the corner and then we're going to take off. Okay, so I got my bag of goodies. You can find out what I'm using below in the description. And they just sent me a spec sheet uh, about what's going on with this one. I'm going to read it just straight off of here, too. So, uh, it's an L48 base four speed vehicle with 74,000 miles. That's what it's showing. Um, the engine in here now is an LS2 from an 06 GTO with the mileage of 45,000. A six speed manual transmission with a hydraulic clutch. Uh, and the differential is rebuilt with 331 gears. But yeah, it's pretty cool. New shocks in the back. New U joints, new gas tank, new fuel pump. Uh, great calipers have been replaced or rebuilt. New upper and lower ball joints, control arm bushings, steering gear, wheel bearings, tie rod ends, inner and outer, shocks, and of course the new cooling system, new air, AC, and uh, yeah. That's a lot of information right there. I just wanted to read it to you before we took off because it just came through as a text on my phone. And I was like, all right, this is a good bit of information about this car. Now we're gonna drive it. We'll let her get warm. She's at 180. Uh, gas gauge at a quarter tank. We might stop and get a little bit of gas. Feels like it's gonna be awesome. Clutch is letting out. 
pretty pretty quick there i'd say about a quarter way up it feels good working tack is working gas yeah, gauge is floating around so i do believe it wow why well, you gotta fall off can't be falling off over here here i'll get you set up on this window how about this <laughs> y'all fell off because y'all was in the uh little heat sensors thing things in the back of the window here i called something else i just can't think of at the moment gas station's up here on the right we'll check the gauge i know it works i just want to make sure we have enough fuel let's get into it a little bit here yeah. didn't take anything to get that tire spinning that's for sure that's great defrost is what i was trying to come up with that's why y'all didn't stick to the window very well Usually with the, the setup that I have, you don't really fall off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put about $20 worth of fuel in here, just make sure we got some gas. After this, we'll get some outside shots. We'll check those headlights. Uh, we'll check out the underneath of this car, light it all up, and then end with picking out the flaws. We already know what I think about it. I love this. Good deal. Check this bad boy out. Of course, you put the gas in right here. And we did. We run 93. Gas is going up again, guys. You don't even get five gallons for $20 anymore. Not of the 93, at least. I think that's all I would run in this car. Now I know the gauge works. I've seen it working, but we'll check it. We was at a quarter tank, now we're above a half a tank. It's time to roll out.
We got our seat belt on. We're getting ready to head out. Guys, I got to go to Struggle's house the other day. I'm getting ready to put that video up. And it just shows like all the cars that he's bought from Maple Motors, his experience with us. And of course, he's going on tour with Brantley Gilbert. It was pretty cool getting to go to his house and uh, see his collection. Definitely a big shout out to him for letting us go over there. It did take him a little bit longer to get over there. Uh, every week he was always doing something different, so catching him at the right time was the key. And on back. Also decided against memberships. I know I mentioned that. Uh, when I found out that YouTube takes a percentage of the membership and I couldn't put all the money towards a charity or give it back to y'all, I decided against it. It was a great outlet for me though because I could have collected all the membership money and then gave it away at the end of the month. But not with them taking, I think it was like 10 or so, it was some kind of percentage and I just said nah, I made my decision right there. Y'all are already, I had people that were for it and I had people that were against it on here. So we're just going to keep it old school. I'm even getting rid of the premieres. I'm probably, probably only going to do premieres for my walk arounds. And the ones that sell, so that they sell fast, and I've already got the video. Premiere it. See when it's coming out. Now this car here, I'm telling you, man. Cream puff. <laughs> Too ready. Runs and drives good. It's got some chips though. I seen a couple little chips on the paint. So it's not perfect. A little bump in the road. Of course, we don't sell perfect cars. We sell 50 year old classics that are generally under 30 grand. Of course, you can find perfect cars if you look around, but they're not 30 grand. They're way higher. You're talking 60s and 70s. I'm sure you've seen those. I had somebody on here that was saying, uh, We go to Vanguard. I understand. We're not even in their class. They got $100,000 cars. <laughs> Nothing against them. They have awesome inventory. But we're in the 10, 20, 30, $40,000 range. That's where we like to stay. That's where we're going to stay. We're gonna pull back into Maple Motors now. I do got some more cars to do, but today has ended. It's five o'clock. go ahead and get things situated here and call it a day I'm gonna build this video for you guys please hit subscribe please share and I'll see you in the next one picking out the flaws coming up next well this is gonna be a fun walk around should be pretty easy honestly because car is beautiful nice and clean go ahead and pop this up let's get started in the front here you do got some chips cracks in the front bumper chips up top it's got a little pearl in it Chip here. Got some light scuffs. <laughs> Cracks. chips on the edge of the door chip here
looking over right here is a thin spot in the paint. Front windshield looks pretty good. So bad. T tops. Looking good as well. Your back window. Cracks right here. I'm zooming in on all this stuff and I'm seeing high and low spots there on the edges. Stress cracks in the back there. And down this side. Look at chips. Good spot there. Chip here. Also down here. Chip here. So right there in the front. A few touch up marks that I'm seeing. Now I'm pointing them all out. But overall, not too bad. A little thin on the corner. Most of the stuff is really small too. Not a lot of people are going to care. Some will. That's why I'm showing them all. Light chip there too all right let's check out the interior here on this ride door panels are clean this looks like some glue or something there Which doors fire glass. <coughs> Seats also look good on this one. A little bit of wear here on the inside. Awesome under the hood.
come on down with it. Push the hood release in. Do it again. Yep, might have to do it a little bit higher. Pull the hood release. There we go, push it back in. I'm gonna pick her up about right here. Boom, baby. A little thin there, a couple spots. On this side, the shoe's looking good. Guys, easy walk around. A few little chips. But overall, this car's awesome. It's a cream puff. <laughs> Detail pictures, finance, and shipping available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out, hit subscribe, share this video, please. It's going to help us out quite a bit. And, uh, of course, I'm doing so many videos. Every week, you have plenty of opportunities to pick up a classic car from Maple Motors. Just check us out, maplemotors.com. Free approved with our financing. Check out our shipping. Any other questions, call me. We'll go over anything that you may have concerns on this video or this car or any car thanks see you later